Hello, my name is Raven. Uh, in this tutorial, I will be teaching you guys how to make swimmable water. All right. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create uh, a ground uh, brush for our <coughs> sorry for our water to go in. So go on ahead and make that 1024 by 1024 by 256 build it all right okay uh, once you have that done make a new brush make it 512 512 by 196 drag the brush up slightly subtract all right nice we have a nice little hole we can swim around in all right go on ahead and Add a light. Sorry. Um, all right. Now we just need to go on ahead and add our water. So go to View, Browser Windows, Actor Classes. We're going to use the Fluid Surface Actor for our water. Go ahead and bring it up just a ways. All right. Now we want to scale it down to where it's, oh, that's kind of too big, roughly the size of our uh, hole here. All right. Okay. Uh, you guys can change the material if you feel like it, uh, but uh, I'm not going to. Okay. So. Let's go on ahead and rebuild the lighting really quick. Test and make sure it works. Cool. Um, now let's make it swimmable. All right, so go on ahead and select our build brush. All right, drag our build brush down to even with the fluid surface actor. Uh, you can either go to brush, add volume, select whatever volume you want. In this case, we want UT water volume. Another way you can do it is you can go over here to this cube where when you mouse over it, it says add volume. You can right click it and select water volume that way. Okay, the water volume's already been placed. So now when we jump in, we can swim around. Yay! We can jump back out. All right, but obviously when we go underwater, it's kind of, well, it's really not that great. It doesn't look like we're underwater, no blur. All right, so add another volume. In this case, we will want to add a post-process volume. All right, now we need to select our post-process volume. So go ahead and move our build brush down. These pink lines here that I've zoomed in on, these are volumes. When you double click, you'll most likely get the water volume, in which case, we're going to want to bring that down a little bit. Uh, hold on. Oh, no wonder the post process volume was never built. One second. All right. Okay. So here we have our post process volume. All right. Uh, click the post process volume. Uh, settings. Scroll down. Enable depth of field. Set focus distance to zero. And inner focus radius to. 128. No, I'm going to try 96. All right, max near blur. I'm going to put 0 0.3. Then we're going to try it out. Let's go on ahead and jump in game. Hmm, didn't work. Just a second.
Um, okay, uh, I figured out my problem. I had accidentally placed two post-processing volumes, so I'm going to fix it really quick, back the way it was before. All right. Now you can see when we dive underwater, it's quite blurry. All right, and you can keep tweaking and adjusting settings till you find whatever works best for you. All right, uh, thank you.